This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Now that it's been confirmed that Jean Money Jean Charles was flown out from New Providence to Haiti some months back, the next step is getting the Department of Immigration to pick up the cost of his return. Queen's Counsel Damien Gomez, part of Mr. Jean, Rawls, Jean Charles's legal team, gave us this update on the story that has left some baffled. Well, we're waiting on a decision, aren't we? The judge should give his ruling, hopefully, on, on Friday. Well, we'll be able to report that we have confirmed where he is. Well, we've already made the submissions in relation to um, the constitutional relief that we're seeking in relation to him. And we had assumed two things. Either he was in custody or he was in Haiti. And if he was in Haiti, we asked that Article 28 be invoked to order his return to the Bahamas or to facilitate his return to the Bahamas. Lead counsel in the case QC Fred Smith blames the former administration for allowing the Department of Immigration to go on these daily searches for illegal Haitians living in the Bahamas. Let him apply for his citizenship and give it to him. In the meantime, release all the other people you have at the detention center who were born here people who have not been committing any offense. This is because they're picking up not just people who have committed offenses. You, if you don't have a paper, they're making it as if you've committed a criminal offense. I mean, that's a, a Nazi Gestapo fascist state. That's not the Bahamas that we grew up in. This is all from Fred Mitchell in November 2014, when he started requiring people to have identification, Haitian passports. What a crazy, perverse idea. If I'm born in the Bahamas, I applied for Bahamian citizenship. Why should I be going to get a Haitian passport? Mr. Smith again called the department to follow the law. Now, during Mr. Smith's recent visit to Haiti, he met with other Haitians who were expelled from the Bahamas and had no access to contact their loved ones. Mr. Smith said a group of lawyers are working with the Rights Bahamas team and are set to travel to Haiti to set up a facility where people who have been unlawfully expelled by immigration will be invited to register their names so the group of the lawyers can work on their return. Now, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs responding to that travel advisory that Canada issued for its citizens in light of what it views as high rates of crime in the Bahamas. Despite the warning for Canadians to exercise a high degree of caution while here, the ministry assures that the safety and security of both citizens and visitors is of paramount importance. The release added that the two countries remain engaged in matters of mutual concern. Of course, Canada's advisory follows a similar one issued by the U.S. two weeks earlier. Tourism Minister Dionisio de Aguilar has brushed off both, insisting that Bahamians instead look at what's good and stop sensationalizing the one or two crimes that occur at home. Well, as expected, those 68 illegal Haitian migrants Defense Force officers picked up on Monday have arrived here in the capital last night and have since been handed over to immigration officials for further processing. The group intercepted and apprehended in the vicinity of Long Island consists of 55 males and 14 females, and according to officials, all appear to be in good health. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.